Well, people in Hattiesburg are mourning the loss of a former star basketball player, Jasmine Boyd. She died in a crash earlier this month in Ruston, Louisiana, but has ties here to the Pine Belt. WDM7's Bethel Miles has more on how the community is celebrating her life. Hugs, tears, and pictures were all a part of the scene for Jasmine Boyd's balloon release at Hattiesburg High. Paso was, she was just a good kid, you know, when she walked into the room, her, her smile, you know, lit up the room. She was, she was playful, you know, she always wanted to joke, always wanted to have a good time. But when it came down to it, you know, she was all about getting that W. For Jasmine, or Paso, a nickname given to her by friends and family, her father described winning as something she dedicated her life to. And once she got a chance to be on the team and outshine and, and do things that she didn't know she could do, it just automatically just uh, was uh, a fault. She just fell in love with it. Behind me to most of the community is known as Hattiesburg High School's gym. But to number 13, it was her place of work. You know, she felt like she could beat the boys. She could beat the girls. She just was that type of competitor in everything. You know, she, if she couldn't play it, she still felt like she was good enough to try it. As the community continues to process this tough loss, her coach explained the importance of celebrating her life. To, to lose a player or to lose, you know, anyone is tough. So, you know, you just want to go on, you know, celebrate their life and remember the good things. Bethel Miles, WDAM 7 News, on your side. Now the service for Boyd will be held on the 29th of July at Logos Baptist Church on the court. Boyd's legacy lives on. She led the Grambling State Tigers in scoring in the 2018 SWAC championship, helping the team secure a trip to the NCAA tournament for the first time in two decades.